Welcome back to STL TV Live. I'm Sarah Bernard, and joining me in the studio now is Linda Green, the Missouri Director of National Dance Week. Welcome, Linda. Good afternoon. So, National Dance Week. Yes. And you, the director of the Missouri part of it. So, tell us yes. what is the history? How long has this been around? Well, National Dance Week, the umbrella organization, began in the early 1980s. Okay. Um, it was pretty much designed so that just dance studios were made to understand this is National Dance Week and let's do something so promote, special. An opportunity to promote, promote dance. dance, but within the facility. Okay. And then it kind of fell to the wayside after just a few years. In 1997, there was a very active grassroots movement to revive it across the country. Okay. And so does the movement come from dance studios? Well, it came, it began, the grassroots was really from. Um, people that were invested in dance and also from an organization called UDMA, which is the United Dance Merchants of America. Okay. They were sponsoring the Umbrella Organization okay. and then the movement to incorporate people in various cities throughout the country right. became very active. Okay, so it's a way to promote dance that helps yes. obviously the merchants of dance, the teachers and the students and yes. the public. Yes, and the public. Right. You know, the purpose is really to heighten the awareness of dance. Right. And it's many contributions mm -hmm. to our culture. So what are some of the things that National Dance Week that's happened on a national basis since it came back in the late 1990s yes. and then also here in Missouri? Well, it's been slow growth, but mm -hmm. right now we have almost all of the states, I think 48 states, are on board. And this week, this year, it's April 20th to the 29th. So across the so country. So across the country. There's national dance week everywhere. There Everybody's dancing. There are various dancing. celebrations <laughs> going on. Oh, that's great. And um, I'm very proud to say that our St. Louis celebration is one of the most highly visible large-scale really? celebrations across the and country. And you have been at the helm of that for 15 years. Since, right, since 97. Since yes. the, since the the reinvention. It began here. <laughs> yes. Yes. Wow. Yes. Great. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, what are some? How have you grown it over? Those well, years? what I felt when I said I would come on board and do something, you know, here in St. Right. Louis, I thought about it and I thought, well, we have so many wonderful dance companies here in St. Louis that There's it would be wonderful to have a venue where they can all perform under one umbrella right. for the public and it would be free of charge. Okay. So that would bring more people than someone having to buy a ticket and go sure. into a and theater. It, so is that what you did the very first year? So that's what we did and I also felt and at the same time it's a win-win because the audience gets to have an understanding of all the dance that's happening here in St. Louis. Right, and so the, we're going to talk more in a few minutes about the event, but yes. has it always been at Union Station? I know you have an event. Yes, it's the always first been. year, yes. We've grown over the years. The first year it was a very small event. I think we had 10 companies performing okay. and we had a little makeshift stage that we sat so down. why Union Station? What made you think of that as a, as a location well, as opposed to a theater or something? Union Station is one of the venues where we have an option. We hate to say the word, we use inclement weather. Okay. <laughs> that in case that would happen, we can What's go the indoors. What's word that you don't want to use? <laughs> it starts with R, ends with N, we okay. don't use it. And Could be a T. <laughs> <laughs> yes. But we have the option to go indoors if we need to. Right. And 15 years. So you really want to have times. it outdoors. That's, we do because yeah. it's wonderful. It's the yeah. sunshine and the right. fresh air and people. There's something well, about art events something and Something that's wonderful nature, outdoors. Right. Yes. Yeah. We have a beautiful stage set up and the sun shines down on it and many dancers and it's wonderful. So it's outside yeah. and then in mm -hmm. the event of inclement weather you can move it inside. We can move so it inside. Union Station has that ability. It to has that and there, and there weren't many locations that afforded yeah. us that opportunity. So are you proud of what you've done over these 15 years? Oh, I'm so proud of it because at this point, the dancers and the audience look forward to this day it's happening. Yeah. Yes, because it highlights them. It really does. It right. really does. And it right. brings such a diversified group of dancers down. Yeah. You know. Well, that is so. We're going to talk more about yes. this exciting event coming up this, okay. this weekend in just Wonderful. a few minutes. So don't go anywhere. We'll have much more with Linda when we return. And remember to keep up with STL TV and all the great events going on around St. Louis. There are so many. Uh, friend us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And you can always watch us streaming live on stltv.net. We'll be back with more after this.
Welcome back to SDL TV Live. I'm Sarah Bernard, and still with me in the studio is Linda Green, the Missouri Director of National Dance Week. So you have a big event coming up this Saturday at yes, Union Station. We do. That's right. This Saturday it starts at noon okay. and we'll go till about 5 o'clock okay. and there will be 50 dance companies performing. Wow. One after the other all day long. So tell us about some of these dance companies. Who are they? Yes, well, we have an honorary dance company. We honor a different local dance company each year. Okay. And this year it is Atrek Dance Collective and they'll be performing a couple of times. So what kind of dance do they do? Well, Atrek is modern dance, but we okay. have everything from modern tap jazz, ballet, um, ethnic Middle Eastern, African fusion. You've got it um, all. Hawaiian, <laughs> we, ha we have it all. So your dancers, are they little children through adults? Or? No, they're ages, the youngest would be age 12. They're primarily okay. adults that are dancing. Oh wow, um, so it's we have, yeah. high quality dance. Yes, it's very high quality. We have all the uh, university dance Picture companies. From that some is, of the dance companies? Uh, this is Atrek Dance Collective who will be performing this year. And I think the one right before it, I believe was um, MADCO, Mid America Dance Company. They've danced with us. Um, this is Missouri Contemporary ballet company. They were the honorary dance company last year. So these are all St. Louis groups, right? Yes. Okay. We do have a few companies that have come on to the bandwagon. Um, we have some, well, Stevens College will be there. From Columbia. From Columbia. Um, both of the SIUE campuses, their dance departments, will be performing. Okay. And just about every St. Louis-based college and university's dance company will be there. We have Slaughter Project, um, Viva Flamenco, yeah, everything that's in town. So you, so the public can come yes. starting around noon yes. on Saturday yes. and watch dance for free. For free. All afternoon. They can watch for a couple of hours. They can go get some fudge or get something right. to eat. They could come back and see every form of dance that they can possibly see. And is there a schedule on the website? Yes, there okay. is a schedule on the website. So if there's something in particular we want to see, we can look at that and... That's and, right. And yeah. the fun thing is going to be, we at 2 o'clock, everybody that is at the stage can join in our flash mob. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and so that's that going work? to be a highlight of the day. If anyone wants to get a peek of what the dance steps will be, very simple, no one has to be a dancer to do it. But um, you can go to our website or you can see, visit us on Facebook. Okay. And it's broken down so you one step and... by step. But then at 2 o'clock, we're going to just have fun and do it. Okay, so if we can go now on yes. Facebook or your website yes. and learn mm -hmm. the dance steps. Yes. And then at 2 o'clock is the flash mob, which isn't so flashy if we already know about it, but that's okay. Right, <laughs> but we had to give a little heads up so, you know, people wouldn't be too intimidated. But we'll have some leaders on the stage doing it with the, you know, the audience. And that should be a lot of fun. And what style of music for the flash mob? Um, should I give it away? Well, oh, no. sure, it's on the website, okay. Footloose. Oh, fun. Okay. <laughs> yes. Well, that'll... So everybody knows that everybody song. Knows we can all they, move they to that. They, they should, right? They should. <laughs> if they don't, they will. Exactly. Yes. Oh, that sounds like mm -hmm. so much fun. Yes. So what, do, have you done this before, a flash mob? This um, is the first time. We, this is the first time we're doing a flash mob. We did what we called a kick line last year. Okay. And that was a lot of fun too. But this year we're setting our precedence. It'll be a flash mob oh, every so year. So every year there's something new and different. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. And I think it's just a great opportunity for the public to come out and see every element of dance, you know, that one can see So here on, um, the on we've Saturday. Got. So Union Station at yes. the South Plaza, if the weather is inclement, yes. it will be inside on the second level. Um, yes. Mm -hmm. Union Station this Saturday, 12 to 5, um, downtown. Um, it sounds like a, a lot of fun if you like dance or if you like different kinds of music. And it is. There's something for everybody. Yes, there is. And it sounds like it's just really high quality. And Absolutely. It's for children, it's for teenagers, it's for adults. Everybody can come out and just enjoy the festivities of dance. Oh my gosh. Well, thank you so much for coming and telling us about it. And thank you. Um, when we return, we'll be joined by Serena Muhammad and John Cooper of America Scores. So stick around for that. And remember to keep up with STL TV and all the great events going on around St. Louis. Friend us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And you can always watch us streaming live on stltv.net. Stay tuned to STL TV.